When designing anything in Photoshop or Illustrator or any of Adobe's products for that matter, you have to take in a number of considerations when you're talking about colour. We all love colour, we love working uh, lots of colour. But there are some issues with some people, particularly uh, people with colour blindness, that may translate your images a bit differently than everybody else. This is an accessibility issue. So if you want to have a look at making your files the most accessible, uh, files of all, so you know, putting alt tags on images on websites, making accessible PDFs, and also making accessible design work, you know, you might just save someone's life. That be something that you would like to crow about. My design work saves someone's life this week. Well, I think we'd all like to be able to say that, wouldn't we? So, this week's episode, you'll be saving people's lives if you follow this technique. Great to see you all again in the new year. Gaming Street TV watchers, enjoy. We have to consider when we're looking at any image or doing any design in Photoshop, uh, the intended output or the intended use of that particular image and how that's going to be perceived. For example, this image that we have a look on at here of Luna Park in Melbourne, it's a very brightly coloured image. And if I were to put it up online, would probably appear the same way to uh, most people. However, if I were printing this on, uh, printing it on CMYK and offset uh, printing or even an inkjet printer, could appear a different way. And that's why we've included underneath the view menu, the proof setup. So we can proof particular colors. So while we're looking at RGB on the screen here, the output is CMYK, we can go to proof colors and we could select working CMYK select it and you'll notice that a number of the colors get darker and this is a problem uh, that confounds a lot of uh, photographers and they say okay why do my images don't look as bright when they're printed in CMYK because printers cannot achieve the same ranges of colors um, that RGB can on screen it's additive light it's a light emitting device um, and it's a broader range of colors and, and that's how we go. So that's one consideration and we could take care of all of that with color management. However, there is uh, another consideration to do with accessibility. For example, there is a large uh, proportion of the world's population um, and I believe mostly men that are colorblind, okay? Or a great percentage of people um, can be uh, colorblind. So how do we know what people with color blindness are going to see of our images. Um, well, I can help you out or Photoshop can help you out a little bit in that regard. Let's close that image and open up just a, a standard spectrum. We can see over here on the left, a uh, full color spectrum, um, which I've just put a gradient here on a layer. And next to it are two different versions of exactly the same color spectrum, but shown as people would see them with color blindness. So there is a great range of colors there, um, which would not be viewable. So it's, it's very easy for Photoshop to simulate that on screen. So before you put anything up online or before you print anything, you can actually see how that artwork is going to appear to those people. Uh, for accessibility, this can be really important in a number of different instances. And while you think, oh, it's not going to affect most of my pictures. If you're doing design work in Photoshop, it's extremely important. As a matter of fact, it may be a life or death situation. Take this example here. So here I, I am working on some artwork for some signage. And the idea here is we're going to put this up in the Northern Territory and up in Queensland, this sign, to stop people or try to ask people to stop swimming in a particular waterway uh, because there could, in fact, in that waterway be some of these guys, which, in fact, are very common around these parts, a crocodile. Okay, so 
How do we know whether this message is going to get through or not? Well, we can check it. All you need to do in Photoshop is come up to the view menu where you can see we have the proof colors. Now under the proof setup, this is where we can simulate different uh, color spaces, working CMYK or just the magenta or Macintosh or Windows, okay? However, right down the bottom, there are two different types of color blindness, two different types of common color blindness that we can preview on the screen. So if I go ahead and choose this first one, I'm not gonna try and pronounce it, and then we have a look on the screen, okay? Ooh, you know, we can kind of see that. Let's come down to the second type of color blindness, and it almost becomes impossible for you to see the actual message there, okay? So having a look um, at that particular sign, you would think, yes, this is a good place to swim, and you would probably get eaten by the crocodile at the bottom of the screen there. So it is a very important thing. Uh, it may not be as severe as um, being eaten by a crocodile, but you never know. So keep an eye on your files, have a look at them, make sure there's plenty of contrast in there, and then all of your images will be accessible. Hope you enjoyed our Creative Suite TV this week. I think a very important message from Photoshop CS4. Thanks for tuning in.